our house is very small. It, it looks very big on the picture, but it's, we have very, very small. We are facing the fastnet rock. My mother uh, wanted to see the light during the night, so she put something taller to put her bed, uh, and so she, she would be able to see the light. She just loved this country. We know that she was murdered, but we still don't know how and why. The person who thinks to kill my mother is still alive, free. It can happen again. Sophie Toscone de Plantier's life was, on one level, a glamorous whirlwind of Parisian social occasions. Her second marriage to film producer Daniel Toscone de Plantier was a hectic world from which she sought refuge in the solitude of her holiday home in Dunmanus in West Cork. 39-year-old Madame de Plantier was found murdered in the laneway of her holiday home, eight miles from Skull in West Cork. Despite all the efforts of the Gardaí, her killer is still at large. A murder, a murder hunt, a community living in fear. Just before 11 o'clock this morning, a team of Gardaí investigating the murder visited a house near Skull in West Cork and arrested one man. A suspect, an arrest, a media frenzy. The investigation is ongoing, as it was when he was brought in today. Then, nothing. No charge, no prosecution, no murder trial. Nothing until now. This attempt by another European country to seek to extradite an Irish resident is unprecedented. The French want to prosecute Ian Bailey in Paris for the murder of Sophie Toscan de Plantier, even though the Irish authorities have said there isn't enough evidence to go to trial here. It's an obsession for every victim everywhere in the world. You want to know the facts and get justice. Which is a frightening state of affairs that he would die in a French jail. Sometimes this is a story about one man's reputation and his pleas of innocence. Sometimes it's about a family denied justice fighting an unknown terrain. Two conflicting sides of one story, inextricably bound by one terrible event. Ever shifting, now though, it pivots once more to where it started. Did you murder Sophie Toscan de Plantier? No.